Hello gentlemen, hello ladies and gen hello chaps and ladies. Um, as promised for you, uh, as promised for you in the last, as promised for you in the in my last two, in my other in my last two videos that I did, which are the final reveal videos for the B2C and the Sopworth Camel. Um, I've now got a review for I've now got the review for you of what I'm building next. This is the first review of what I'm building of one of the two. This is one of the two kits I'm building. It's this is the Airfix one set. Well, this is the Airfix one thirty one seventy second. This is the Airfix one seventy two scale North American Aviation P fifty one D Mustang. Um, Mustang. Obviously, not the Mustang is obviously synonymous. Is a well is a is a, the the Mustang is a well known air synonymous obviously with the late work with uh, the with obviously escorting the B-17s and the B-24s into Germany into into into, in, into the airspace over Germany from about 1943 1944 from about 1943 onwards late 43 onwards so box art obviously a box art brilliant box art obviously you've got a you've got this Fuck off 190, which looks to have taken off somewhere. So it looks off to taken off an airfield, some probably somewhere in Belgium. Look, some probably an, air, an, air, an airfield in Belgium, looking just by the wintry terrain. And by the looks of things, he's just got himself a fuck off one. He's just, he's just, he's just, he's just, he's just scored a kill on an FW on an FW 190 that looks like it's trying to land. Looks like it's trying to land, but. Um, but of course, he's, but of course, he's, the Mustang's already got him, sort of thing. Gotta love it. Gotta love Airfix box up. Gotta. Oh, yeah, gotta love the old Airfix box up. Gotta love the old Airfix box up. Oh, and uh, oh yes, and for, before I, and while before I show, yeah, that's what's that's what's review. That's what we're reviewing today. Before I get into the review, I'll say huge thank you to Adam and Air, uh, Adam and Emily Hewton of Airfix and Hornby Hobbies, respectively. Obviously, because obviously they're the guy. Obviously, those two. Obviously, they're the fine two people um, that obviously arranged this kit to be sent to me for free. Um, and obviously, a huge thank you to my godfather, and also a big thanks to my godfather for arranging all it for getting in touch with. With uh, with Adam and Emily, Emily Hutton and Adam at Airfix and Hobby Hobbies, to and uh, Airfix and Hobby to um, get obviously to get these kits sent out to me for free. So without further ado, let's get on with the review. Obviously, I've just done the box art. I feel I've done covered the box. Um, what you get in your box? Obviously, um, obviously for anyone whose kit number for everyone is. For anyone who wants to have kit number for every for kit number for anyone who wants to know who wants to thingy the kit number it's it's a it the kit number is the kit number is a one a zero a zero one zero zero four a Right, let's have a look in the box, shall we? See what you get. Right. You get your first of all. You you obviously you you've got your instructions. You get your you get your instructions which are in you get your instructions which are in English you get your instructions which are in in which are in English which are in English French German Spanish and whatever and probably t two forms of Spanish I should imagine. 
and two and two different versions of Spanish. Um, from what I can tell, anyway. Uh, so. And then I'll see up here you've got well, up here you've got your assembly you've got your assembly instructions in you've got your assembly instructions in in British, French, German, Spanish, Italian, Danish, Dutch, Spanish again I think. Whatever F I P T P L uh, whatever F I P T Polish and I know PL is Polish, so whatever EL PT EL PT SE um, R and then this is a so this and then of course you've got so that is, this is your kit. This is a one. This is a this is a relatively quick. This is a relatively quick and this is a quite an easy build. This is a one to stage. This is a one to fifteen. Stage. This has got a fifth. This is a total. This has got a fifteen. This has got a total stage of twenty-two. This has got a total. This has got this is a, it's a one to. This has got a sub assembly stage. This has got a total number of sub assemblies of sub assemblies of twenty-two. Part of total. This is a twenty-two sub assembly stage kit, and kit. And now I will go through with you what the because those of you who know me, for those of you who don't know, who are not new to this channel, I go through the instruct, I go through the construction process, so that you know. So I give a, a break. I go through the construct, the breakdown, give a breakdown of the construction, and also it also I'll see, and also it gives, and also because I pick for two reasons. One, so you can know see what how. What the kit builds, how how the what the construction process is like, but also for me, I can pick and choose how many stages I how many stages I I do on the kit before I do the first update on the kit before I do the first build update. So update one is a case of so first the first sub assembly is you put the instrument panel. You put the instrument. You put the you put the instrument panel together. So you've got the instrument, the aircraft's instrument panel, along with the rudder pedals, which is are all molded in one piece, along with the the gun sight. And you've got a decal for the. You have got and 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 you've got a decal for the instrument panel. Stage two involves you putting the instrument panel and the the instrument pay involves you putting the instrument the instrument panel and the control column into the cockpit uh, the cockpit assembly with the cockpit into the cockpit floor which is molded in one piece which is molded all in one and it also gives you a call gives calls out for painting the cockpit and the radios and the radio uh, radio transmitter receiver stage three has you put the pilot seat in the pilot seat in to the cockpit Stage four has you put the radiator stage. Stage four has you put the the radiator, the radiator in underneath the uh, underneath the uh, the cockpit, and the radiator into the cockpit into the cockpit floor, the cockpit floor and the, air, the rest of the aircraft structure. Stage five is the propeller. Stage six is you put the completed cockpit and interior. The completed cockpit interior, the completed cockpit interior into one side of the fuselage, into one side of the fuselage to propeller in, and then close the fuse. And put the cockpit into into onto put the cockpit onto one of the fuselage sides. Put the cockpit onto the fuselage on into on into the into the fuselage half. The propeller onto the into the fuselage half, and then and then close the, and then and then and then glue the fuselage halves together. Stage stage seven has you put the ramp has the as put you as you put the uh, as you as you put the the ram air intake the ram air intake door the ram air intake on the bottom but underneath the 
right on to the aircraft that's located it's located under un, it's located just behind the propeller on the underside of the fuselage stage eight sees you go put sees you put on the top and the bot put the top put the top sex the top parts of the top the tops the top wing halves onto the bottom half of the wing onto the wing onto the bottom half of the wing stage nine sees you put the the wing and fuselage as you put the what the 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 the, the um the wing and fuselage together the wing the, the fuse onto the, the the wing onto the fuselage stage 10 has you put the horizontal stabilizers and the horizontal stabilizer and the elevators which are molded in one piece which are which are one which are molded in one piece or which are molded all together in one piece onto the uh Onto the tail set and the stage has you assemble the tail section. So that's the horizontal stable, the horizontal stabilizer and elevator, which are all molded in one piece, and the rudder, which is a separate piece. So if you pose the rudder, it gives you a little the aircraft a little bit more animation. Um, stage eleven has you put the ha, stage eleven. You put the flaps in the flaps. You put the flaps on. Obviously, it gives you an option for flaps up or flaps down. You put the radiator, uh, the the the, the, the streamlined radiator fairing, the radiator intake fairing, the radiator the radiator intake goes in on stage eleven, on stage twelve rather, stage thirteen. You put the the radiator exhaust door on, and it gives you an option, and it gives you here, it gives you an option to have it either open. Either open or closed. And then stage third stage thirteen stage fourteen it, uh, it, it's stage thirty stage fourteen you put in the landing gear both the main the main Main landing gear doors. Either I puts it. You put in the main landing gear doors. Either you can either pose it with the wheels, or either wheels up, which in this case you put in, which you put in the 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 wheel, but the wheel the wheel doors, the landing gear leg, um, the landing gear leg doors, and you'll see the tail wheel door all in the tail wheel door, which is molded as one piece. As in molded as a one as one piece, um, or it gives you the option for wheels down, which you put the the landing gear door, the the tail wheel doors, which are two separate pieces, and the wheel doors in the open position. If you do it with the wheels down, if you do it with the wheels down, or see the that is if you do it the way with the wheels down. Stages 15 and 16. Stages 15 and 16 are the um, stages 15 and 16. Stages 15 and 16 are the wheels going together. Stage 17, if you're doing it with the wheels down, you put in stage 17 involves you putting in putting on the tail wheel and the main gear doors, which and the main landing gear wheels, which are 50, which are which are your your previous two sub assemblies, onto their locating hole into their locating holes in the wing, and down there it gives you a diagram of how the aircraft uh, that the tire that the you'll see the tire that the tire there's the, the the bottom that this bit of the top the that the tires should touch the ground like so, and that's the angle. The aircraft should sit at, should sit the ground, sit on, sit on the ground at, and then of course, stage, stage, stage eighteen and nine, nine, stage eighteen and nineteen, stage eighteen and nineteen has you assemble the, 
as you assemble the drop tanks, the two drop tanks. And unfortunately, with this kit, you only get you only get the drop tanks. You don't. It's not like the uh, it's not like the uh, the North uh, the, the the Korean the the Korean War Mustang version you know, the kit where you get the Korean War Mustang. Uh, you can do the Mustang as the Korean as they were as uh, as a Mustang that saw action in the Korean War where you get the bombs and the rockets this has just got drop tanks so stage 17 stage 20 so that's stage 18 stage 19 stage 20 you put the bombs uh, the drop tanks onto the airframe you put the you, you, put, you put the airframe onto you state you put the the drop tanks off the airframe you put the pito tube also the the pito tube in onto the aircraft as well Stage 21, you put the cop, you put the cockpit the the, the 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 bubble hood, uh, the teardrop canopy, the sliding the sliding the sliding the sliding part of the teardrop canopy together, and then stage 22, stage 22, stage 22, and then of course final stage you put the cockpit on, whether you put the canopy on the can the the front windscreen on and the can the, the canopy. The two the two part canopy on you can either have it open and you can either have it open and you can either have it, you can either have it you can either have it closed or open and if you want you can put the pilot in or leave the pilot out and the only other parts are the exhausts. Stencil. Stencil data. Stencil. Uh, so that's the stent. That's the stent. That's the stent. That's the. This is the. the, the, the this is the, the. sheet. This is the decal. This is the stent. This is the stencil data. This is the stencil. Stencil data decal sheet. Stencil data decal sheet. I'll just give you another. So, I'll just give you another. Another close up look at the instructions. Oh, and the only other thing on the rear is obviously this. The only thing on the the fair is this is obviously this is licensed. This product is obviously the only thing. Yeah, see this other thing is obviously is, 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 is the Boeing logo. I should have covered on the box. Is uh, should have. Uh, this is a this is a this is a this is a. It's obviously this is officially licensed. Licensed product. Product product under license by Boeing. Product license. Product under license. Boeing P fifty one. Boeing P fifty one Mustang, the distinctive Boeing logos and product markings, product markings, trade address, and all trade all trademarks of the Boeing company. So, um, Kolsky. That's your color. That's your color. That's your that's your color scheme. Uh, that's your colour scheme. The aircraft. So you you, you colour your colour scheme on the back of your on the back of this book is, is on the back of this box is aircraft is North American one seventy six one seventy North Airfix one seventy second scale North American P fifty one D must North American P fifty one D Mustang flown by flown by Eugene W James thirty second five thirty second three hundred thirty second five fighter group three hundred twenty eighth. Fighter Squadron, Royal Air Force, Botany, Norfolk, England, 1944. 
and obviously that's your decal plate that's that's your decal that's obviously this is where all the rest of your this is where you'll see this is where the right obviously you've got the rest of your decal plate obviously once you've applied all your stencils the rest of your decal the rest of the decal placement all goes is all is all is all done by is all done by this box obviously you've got the colors here um which are the colors which are silver which, which is silver which is uh revel humbro sil humbro 11 silver humbro 14 french blue humbro 24 matte yellow humbro 33 matte black humbro 53 gun metal and and humbro and humbro 153 insignia red Right, what do you get kit wise? What do you get kit wise? Well, this because this is a series one kit, you get you get two, you get two sprues. Yeah, one. Yeah, one, two sprues of Airfix Grey. Um, of Airfix Grey plastic. Of Airfix Grey plastic, and then you get one clear sprue with all your with your with with the uh with all your parts. So the parts. So you've got your. And when I say all your parts, I'm going that. Uh, so that covers both the clear parts. So that's the guns the, with your clear part, with your with your clear with your clear parts for both the guns and the for both the guns and for the gun sight, the gun the, and your clear parts. So we'll have a look at sprue at sprue brew at sprue a. Yes, we'll have a look at sprue A. Sprue A has obviously, obviously sprue A. If you don't know, obviously sprue A has you've got mold, you've got very. It's not, you know, it's not like air. It's not like other airfix are not like other manufacturers where you have all the sprues. Have you where have you all the all yeah, where all the components have their own sprue? All the components have their own sprue. Airfix tend to put the way airfix do their sprues is they put all the components on their sprue. So on one sprue. So On this, so on this side, you've got the. So on here, you obviously you have your two, obviously here, and here you have your two sprues. You you have your two fuselage halves, your port and starboard, fu your port and starboard, your port your port and starboard um, fuselage halves. You also have the. The underside of the port and star of the port and starboard um, horizontal stabilizers of the port and starboard port the the underside of the uh, the underside of the port and starboard horizontal stabilizers. Uh, you've got the you've got the uh, the 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 pylon the the pylons. You've got the wing pylons for the the wing py the the wing pylons for the uh, for the weapon for the drop tanks. Pito tube, um, propeller secure, the little securing nut that the propeller goes into, tail wheel door in the closed position, Tail wheel, tail wheel in the closed position. Tail wheel door in the closed position. Um, ram air intake door. Air exhaust door. Um, air exhaust door. Air radiator exhaust. Radiator rear. The rear door for the 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 the, the cooling. 
the exhort the rear the the the, the door open the, the old item that open and closes automatically to to call to let to, to so the air so the radiator gets maximum the air the, the rear radiator air cooling door flaps um flaps uh, no not flaps uh, tail wheel doors i'll have to check what number 19 what component 19 is um 23 which is the uh to component 23 which is the um control column control column propeller sits pro propeller propeller spinner radiator rear of the seat landing gear legs wheels drop tanks in two halves prop cockpit cockpit structure floor structure were well, um, obviously those and here are your flaps so details wise I don't I don't know how well you're getting these the panel lines that are done on the the, the panel line de the panel lining details on the fuselage is really nicely done not over it's really nicely done i i is really nicely done i feel it's really nicely done not overdone not overdone it's not over it's not over it's really nicely done not over not overkilled not killed overkilled or underdone obviously you've got um obviously you've got deep you've got riveting i think you've got you've got riveting you've got riveting detail around the tail around the toilet around the tail and the wing roots and the wing roots and of course you've also got these and also you've got details around the engine cowling which are you've got hole and you've got you've got details around the engine cowling and now these are now these dots that are around the engine cowlings they're not rivet. A lot of people call their rivets. They're not. They're called split. Pin. They're called split pins. They're called split pins. And the reason they're called split pins is because they. They're, and the reason they're called. They're quick release pin. They're they're they're, they're quick. They're quick. They're quick. They're quick. They're quick release. They're quick release. They're 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 either they're either one of two things. A either a split pin or a quick release pin. And a quick release pin and what that basically is it's basically a screw that's gone it's basically a screw but it's got an interrupted thread so uh, in other words you turn it through 90 degrees and it come and it and it and it un you turn it through you turn it through 90 degrees and it undoes and to be honest you can undo them with either a you can either do you can either do these things with either you can undo these things with either a screwdriver with either a screwdriver or a 20 pence or, or a 20 or a 20 or a 20 pence or a 20 pence piece or a 20 pence piece in the UK in in or a 20 pence piece so I'm told anyway but yeah that's the, uh, the fuselage also you've got the the radiator detail which is nicely done not overkill um, you got nice the, the flaps are nicely detailed as well the horizontal stabilizers are nice uh, are really are, are really nicely detailed as well as is the pilot's seat as is as is the pilot's seat as is the as is the pilot's seat where are you where are you where are you pilot seat pilot seat pilot seat pilot seat Pilot seat, pilot seat, pilot seat, pilot seat. Uh, there, yeah. Pilot seats really decent. Well, gear gear doors are really well molded as well. Well, I must admit, looking at mine, it looks like mine's been slightly under.
Yeah, gear legs are nicely done. Gear legs are nicely done, as are the wheels in terms of the wheel hubs and the threaded tire and the and the tires on and the tread on the tires. Propeller blades nicely detailed, as well as the uh, propeller blades nicely detailed. Propeller blades, propeller blades uh, in terms of the, the the propellers nicely detailed in terms of the, the blades. And the uh, and the and the hub and the spinner hub and the spinners and the spinner hub um, and also you've got the um, you've got this is what I was talking about this is the uh, this is the cockpit floor and cop this is the cockpit section which is molded in all one piece and it's got as molded all completely in one piece and has, uh, in terms of the console there the console that where my the console here is the console here is molded in one piece and um, and the right as well as the radios and so yeah that's really really nice detail actually uh, really nicely done um, cockpit detail you you got I don't know how well you're going to see this you've got cockpit you've got nice cockpit detail in the you got nice cockpit detail um, for the throttle quadrant, the for, for the throttle quadrant, the the oxygen bot, the throttle quadrant, the ox, the throttle quadrant, the throttle quadrant, um, and various switches for the electrical system and for the elect for the radiator and the electrical system for the radiator and electrical system. Um, and you've got various electrical boxes on electrical system boxes on and. On the uh, on 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 this side as well. Speaking. Sorry about that. I had a phone call for some reason. Right. Um, where was it? Yes, wings. So you've got your so you, on this sprue you've got the you've got the flaps in the up position. You've got the flaps in the up position. Nicely done. Again, again, nicely done. Nicely done from Airfix. You've got the rudder, which you've got the which you've got the you, you've got the rudder, which is nicely got the rudder, which is nicely done crisp nicely nicely done crisp nicely done crisp um detail nicely done detail in terms of the rubber in terms of the the fabric effect the fabric the fabric detail uh, uh the fabric yeah the fabric detail is nicely done um not overly done nicely not oh it's not too it's not it's nice it's not overly done but it's not underdone if that makes sense um pilot figure Again, he's nice, quietly nicely moulded, but again, I'm chance I'm not going to use him. Um, exhaust ports, exhaust ports, which of course are moulded really, really nicely. Landing gear legs, got you've got a bit of detail, a bit of detail on the landing gear legs, um, but not that much. Instrument panel, instrument panel and rudder panels, which are moulded all in one. Uh, can canopy canopy frame propeller spinner and then you've got the the inside of the wheel doors the inside of the main landing gear wheel well doors there and there um, also you got your you've got your uh, you got your um, you got your so you got your the, this is this is your this is the this is the uh, obviously this is the spar I think this is the this is part of the obviously you got part of the wing spar molded in the rear in the in the wheel wells in the wheel in the wheel in the molded in the wheel wells which is nicely done speaking of wheel wells you've got your 
you got the, you've got your wheel wells molded you've got the wheel wells molded there molded nicely done nicely done nicely molded, molded wheel wells there and there nicely molded detail what wheel well details there and there here and here and then and then as for the wings it's themselves again the panel lines on the wings on the two top wing sections are nicely uh, excuse me are nicely done are nicely are really done are nicely are done really nice are done are really nicely done not overkill um, are not overly done not underdone same for the underwing here now you probably noticed now you've probably noticed that obviously now you've probably noticed that you've got obviously you've got on the here on the on 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 this section on on the wing of the wing you have got rivet detail but the rest of the wing you haven't that is because i'm reliably informed that the p51 mustang both top and bottom surfaces except there and there was putty the rivets on the top the rivets on the top surface and the majority of the underside surface except this except this except these two panels here were puttied over so were put were the rivet were, were completely puttied over so when you come to so when i'm coming to paint this so when you paint this it's it's a case of painting the wing this the this this bit of the wing all in in um in 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 a in a in a, in a, in a in a in a in a in a silver color a metallic silver color and then of course when you come to this bit try you know get a proper metalizer finish a, a petal me a proper metal color sort of thing so that's what i will be doing when i build this um but yeah that is my so yeah that's that sprue that's that sprue And then that's the other, and then that's, and then that's the other sprue, uh, and of course that's the other sprue. And now the final part, the final sprue, is obviously your clear parts. Obviously, you've got your canopy, your front windshield canopy there, your gun sight, and your landing light, and your landing gear, and your landing light, um, and of course you've got your hood, your, your canopy hood um for some reason from what i for some reason there's two molded in this kit even though i use one i could be wrong i think this was back i could be wrong but i think there's a reason why they've given you two canopies is because they used to mold the uh they used to do the korean war uh the korean war era mustang post post second post second world war era of this of the mustang with the korean war and one of you obviously one of them gave you the option for a korean war and one of them a dominican republic um dominican republic mustang so yeah that is uh so and also i'll just give you click clear parts there again um framing on the windshield is nicely done this is it's nicely done quite you can quite easily paint that i can quite easily paint you could quite easily paint that with no problems whatsoever gun sight same with the gun sight really same with the gun sight same with the gun sight really hang on i think i've sussed out what part what part 19 is i've built this kit before part 19 no part not part 19 part 19 part 19 Part 19 on 
part 19 on A sprue 19A 19A so part 13B 13B 1D 33A to 1 23A to 1 10A Twenty seven A twelve B eight B eight 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 one B two B twenty one A twenty two A nineteen A is the aerial. I knew it. Nineteen A is the aerial. Right now I've got to try. So that, chaps and lady, was my review of the Airfix 172 scale P51D North American Aviation P51D Mustang. Um, my review, my thoughts of this kit. Um, looks a really nice kit. I have built it before to I have built it before as a When it was in released in the color scheme of the red of the uh, of the 332nd in the colors of the um, In the in the markings of the 332nd fighter group the red tail red tails or the tusk of the or the Tuskegee uh, Tuskegee the 330 the 332nd fighter group or or Better known, or, or was there known as also known as the Tuskegee, the Tuskegee, Air, the Tuskegee Airmen, or the Red Tails. And I've also built the Korean War offering of this kit as well. So it builds, so it actually built the kit builds up really nicely. Um, so I know what I'm somewhat in for, but yeah, I'm so, but yeah, but all all, all the same, I again, I'm really grateful to Adam and Emily Hutin for sending me this kit for free and um and like I say the first the first up build update on this kit will be soon obviously I don't know where I don't know when it uh, obviously the first update on this kit will be soon I don't know when it will be but when I do have it I'll when I do have the update I'll bring it to you and so, so until the first update thank you much thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys until the first update, to, thank you for. Uh, until the first update, thank you much for. for uh, thank you very much on the first. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you. See see you guys on the next video. Uh, see you on the first update. All right. Take care. Stay safe. Take care. Stay safe. Be safe, and I'll catch you next time.